your intention to protect children is of course very important and much more needs to be done than is set out in your strategy paper. But the proposal we are discussing now is neither effective nor proportionate to achieve this ob objective. Rather, it endangers the security of our communications and devices, which children are particularly in need of, as Birgit said before. So my questions are, first, can you confirm that the Commission knows of only two companies in need of this legislation, which are Facebook and Microsoft? Are we legislating just for these two? Secondly, your purpose to allow these companies to continue with what they're doing can be achieved only if this legislation would withstand court challenges and if the processing is compliant with the General Data Protection Regulation. So will you share with us your legal services opinion on the compliance of this proposal with fundamental rights and have you examined whether a general and indiscriminate searching of all of our private messages and handing them over to a private entity in a country that lacks adequate data protection, whether all this is compliant with GDPR. Finally, the Commission is recommending to its own staff to use a messenger called Signal because it encrypts confidential messages and protects state secrets and does not search all messages indiscriminately. So if this process is so essential as you are saying, will you recommend to your own staff to use instead insecure services such as Facebook Messenger, or will you undermine your own credibility by recommending a messaging service that does not perform what you are proposing to us here? Risk of children using their data. What are we talking about? I'm asking, what are we talking about? We are talking about emails, and I reply to Mr. Breyer, exchange of emails where you have image of nudity of children. This image of nudity of children is suddenly standing on alert. Then the company will look at the image, human oversight, and say, oh, uh, yes, it's nudity of children, there's a problem, we will alert the law enforcement. Oh, no, it's just an image of nudity. I wonder why you are sending by email nude image of your children, but that's your right, and I fully respect that right. But they're just an alert, and it's yes or no. And that's it. That's what we are talking about. And in what sense the privacy of the children is violated because we just had a human oversight of an image of a nude picture of underage children. Mr. Breyer, only two companies are using it, Facebook and Microsoft. Uh, this is not true. Uh, there are many uh, online gaming platforms who are using the tool uh, to detect behavior. You have Kik, for instance, also for, uh, in terms of instant me me messaging, with, with using uh, uh, the tool. So it's not li linked only uh, to, to, to two companies. And, uh, and I think, uh, uh, let me also, we call that uh, Facebook Messenger is a main provider of uh, child sexual abuse uh, material to NECMEC in the United States. It's a very efficient way to detect child sexual abuse uh, material online. Because, why, why is that? Because in fact, the children are contacted by Facebook. The, the predator looks at the image of the children, look and then start to send message, so moving from Facebook to Messenger, and then it's entering into a conversation and start to lure the ch children, to groom the children. So, uh, so that's why Facebook is one of the, the main provider, but there are other companies uh, uh, doing it.